A variety of chemical processes can reactivate ozone-destroying molecules. Depending upon the altitude at which gases are emitted, and other factors, aircraft emissions can either produce and destroy ozone. Nitrogen oxide emitted by subsonic aircraft in the upper troposphere and lower stratosphere, 9 to 13 km above the surface, are expected to increase ozone and thereby decrease the amount of ultraviolet radiation reaching the surface. Emissions at this altitude are more effective at producing ozone in the upper troposphere than an equivalent amount of emissions at the surface. In contrast, supersonic aircraft crews at higher altitudes of 17 to 20 km in the stratosphere. Emissions of nitrogen oxides at these altitudes are expected to deplete the stratospheric ozone layer. If there are no nitrogen oxides present, the chlorine radicals start a catalytic chain of reactions, leading to ozone destruction. Bin, bin, bin.